Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are creating a custom asset. We are creating a parking lot for the airport's DLC. If you're like me and you're building a vanilla build and you don't want to download a whole bunch of assets from the Steam Workshop and you're on a PC because this does not work for consoles, unfortunately, there is an option for you besides playing whack-a-mole to get a parking lot asset. And the way that you can do that is by actually creating your own custom assets. So we're gonna create a new asset, but the very first thing I want you to do is hop into your content manager and look at your mods that you have available to you because some of these will show up in the asset editor. So the mod in particular that I wanna get rid of is move it. I don't want it to, to mess things up. Uh, and even though it likely will be totally fine, I'm gonna be a purist about this. So we're gonna hop into editors and then we'll go into asset editor and click new asset. And now I'm gonna pick the type of map theme that I have, which is a tropical map. It looks like the Costa Verde beach before it was developed. Okay, so we've loaded into our asset editor and we are going to create an asset. Now I could create a building, but the problem with a building is it's gonna to have to be a building like a commercial building that has employees and I don't want that. And I wanna be able to plop the asset wherever I want. So I'm gonna create a park. Now we'll adjust a couple of things to make this work in the way that we are anticipating. So we'll click on park and hop in. So we have this really dark theme. Uh, that's because I have ultimate eye candy enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up my theme, my presets that I have for this. And that will give me the ability to, to work with this. So I'll start out at noon, no problem there. And the first thing that we're gonna do is look at our pad that we can work with. So we have a 12 by eight pad. And for this asset, I think a four by four pad is ideal. This will allow us to place number of these in sequence. And uh, it, it, it's, it's a little more wieldy, I suppose, for lack of a better word. So the very first thing I wanna do, uh, we'll ignore properties till the very end. Let's pop down here into our surface tool and paint our area. Right there, I've done a four by four concrete pavement pad. So the next thing I want to do is hop into common and look at streets and under streets, there are parking spaces. So you can either do a three by three, three by three with an accessible stall or do one by one. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> we don't have move it or any way to easily align this. So let's do a three by three. And what I'm going to do is try to contain this perfectly line it up with the edge of the squares. So this does mean that there won't be overlap and there will be gaps in between the parking stalls, but this is an instance where we, we can't let perfect be the enemy at good. If we do that, we're gonna have lots of overlap when we place this in the game and it's gonna look terrible. So I'm just going through and I'm placing these. This row will be in the opposite direction, so we'll avoid that. And you can see that I've just had to very carefully eyeball this and line this up as best as I can. It's not gonna be perfect, but it will be perfectly good. Okay, so now I have all my parking in place and I would recommend creating a second asset with accessible parking. This could be the same size asset, but the front couple of rows uh, are accessible. So you'll, you'll probably wanna make a couple. Uh, now we need to think about lighting. So if I didn't have ultimate eye candy, I could use the lighting control down here, but because I have this enabled, I'll use this. And there's a couple of options. So I really love this eco street lamp. There's only one significant issue and that is that the coverage area is just not very good and i can't select this asset in game the street lamps over here are available in game so this right here a pretty street lamp to light up places is actually part of the park life dlc and you can select that in the in the assets that's something to keep in mind because if you want to be able to create even lighting in your parking lot you're going to need to place some of it in game manually so i am going to use this street light, but I do want to place a couple right off the bat. These will be guidelines for me for my future lights. So those two, that'll evenly space this. When I place these side by side, there will be six stalls in between all of my lights. Now I'd love to place them here, but if I do that, then when I'm placing, actually this, this, this will work now that I think about it. We'll place these at the bottom, but not the top. So I'll probably want to go in and add lighting at the top whenever I place this in game. And with that, most of what I need to accomplish has been accomplished. But I do need to look here in the properties menu. So this is always unlocked. Leave sub meshes as it is. Building availability under 
the general building options. We want to make sure this is always available in game. And then I could say that it's flattening the area and flattening the terrain. Under electricity, no consumption, gameplay cost. I could set the cost here, or whatever I want it to be. Uh, 500 seems fair, not very much fire hazard. Uh, I do want it to accumulate some garbage, so there has to be some collection. It's a parking lot after all. And I could even go in and try to find some sort of trash collection asset if I wanted and place that in here. That would certainly be possible and, you know, maybe that's something you want to do. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get too fancy with this, but it's certainly something that you could do. Uh, for tourists, I'm making it equally attractive to everybody and then no water demand here at all. Now under entertainment, I am going to drop the entertainment way down. I don't want this to really boost up the land values. That's not my goal. My goal is to make sure that people actually want to go there a little bit and that it covers a large area. Now the buildings that I'm going to place this next to are going to attract people anyway. We're going to do a couple of things to make this work. So the very last thing I want to do is go into the asset editor settings and take some pictures. Now is the time to really take pride in what you've done. So I'll take a picture and then I'll make a thumbnail and an info shot. Now I'll just go into the pause menu and I can save the asset and we'll call this CPP airport parking. So it's a basic parking asset. And now I can adjust the tooltip image. There's the picture that I took, the thumbnail icon. There's the thumbnail that I took, save, and we're good to go. And I could even share this asset now that I've saved it and I will do that. But I wanna pop into Verde Beach to see how this actually works. Okay, so we have loaded into Verde Beach and there is no parking, but there's about to be. So the nice thing is it's pretty easy to find this asset now. We just need to hop into parking or to parks and plazas and in the very first menu, I don't know if it'll be in here. Yeah, it'll be under user made assets. And there it is, CPP airport parking. And we can just clip this right down. So there we go and look, looking very good. And if we wanna finish off our lighting, I mentioned that we could go into our Park Life DLC right here under props. And there it is, street lamp number one. And we could add this to balance out our lighting. Now we'll go to night. We'll see how this looks. Look at that. Now, you might be thinking, no one's using this. This is terrible. Well, over time, this would start to see some activity, but if we want to speed it up, upgrade these roads to tree-lined streets, and you'll immediately see cars using this. And it, the nice thing about this is now we can have a little bit more atmosphere in the area and see some parking. Okay, and there you go. You can see that people are using this lot. It's it's looking really good, and we can place these wherever we like. The really nice thing about this is now we have the flexibility to do even more. So if we wanted to have some sort of airport parking, we could come right up here, just add a road there temporarily, and we will pop into our parks menu and place a few of these. And now I've spaced this appropriately to be able to add two rows of these parking lot assets. And now you can see we have this big satellite parking lot. And, you know, my lines aren't perfect. I could go in and tweak the asset to make them absolutely perfect. And I could go and add in all of those extra lights. But this is a way to add a little bit of custom flair to your game if you want to keep it as vanilla as possible. So you don't necessarily have to zone for the eco parking. You could create your own parking lot asset. And if I wanted, I could do things like airport shuttles over here and uh, convert all of these streets, like I mentioned, to have trees. So this is really the only parking available in this area. So I hope this has been helpful. If you like this, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. If you make a par custom parking lot, please hop in the Discord. Show me what it looks like. I'm really interested in seeing. Take care. Bye-bye.